he's big, he's good. What do you reckon? Oh, he's on it. Here he is. Oh, jeez. Well, this is going to be pretty interesting, pretty funny at the same time. Definitely gonna be a laugh in there because Matt has actually never really been crabbing before. Like when I mean never really been crabbing before, I've never put in my own proper pots and done it, done it seriously and actually gone out in a day instead of fishing, going crabbing. I do have fishing rods on board with me, but I went and got four crab pots because you're only allowed four each. And I went and got the little deal of floats and the whole lot. And this is like, I need you guys to heckle me on this, you know? Like if I'm doing something wrong, I need you to slam me for it because I'm here to learn. You know, like you guys, which watch some of my jigging and anything to do with other stuff that you guys don't know, you kind of watch me for my advice and I need your advice on this because I've never really done this properly, never taken it serious, never even grabbed my own crab. That's gonna be the scariest thing of all time ever. And you laugh at that, but you know, Everyone remembers grabbing their first giant buck. Like, there's things that'll take your finger off. Not really, but they probably could. I'm gonna burn up into a little creek. I'm gonna use the tin to its full advantage here. Little creek. This thing is built for little creeks. So I'm gonna push up the tiniest little creeks possible because I think with the high tide, so sorry, 11 o'clock at the moment, high tide's at 1.30. So I've got a couple more hours to high tide, I think. That tide pushing up, crabs are gonna get moving, do all their thing. Just give me time to push up into some of these creeks and uh, get out of this run. It's a big threadfin salmon. That was cool. I'm gonna start doing a lot more barra fishing now that the season's open. And why not just put out a few crab pots at the, t at the same time? Let's get started. I'm gonna set these four pots up. I'm gonna burn up this creek. I'm gonna start dropping some stuff. Along the way, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. And I want you to nail me for it. Please don't feel bad too. Like, get in there, get, get deep. Let's get, let's get deep. Oh, jeez. I definitely went for the heavier duty pots because we are up north and because we do have crocodile sharks and big run, big tides. Um, I didn't even realize this was a thing. So that's obviously for bait. That's cool. I like that. And I don't know if there's a special place like that's a joint. So probably not going to put it there. And do you put it on the top or the bottom? That's a good question. Top or the bottom of the pot? I'm gonna go here because it looks kind of structural with the rope. Um, same deal, loop knot. It's just what I do. It goes through there. Pull that tight. And then because there's a bit of tag left over, I can do a half hitch just to secure it a bit better. This is looking pretty good. Not much run, like I can see here in the car, and it's not much run at all. So I think if anything, I just need to find like some type of a step, a cutout, possibly like a little drain. I'm not kicking up any mud, it's still a meter deep, so it's just oh that was a stick. This is it. First pot, first deployment. Perfect little creek, not too much run, just a little bit. Um, nice little bit of a cut out here, like goes into a channel. I think there'd be crabs up there that come out and explore, like if anything. Do you, like, do you go deep? Do you get in there? I think the back eddy of this, at least it'll give him some Right, oh, no, yeet. That was actually a pretty good throw. Oh no, I, I stuffed up, stuffed up straight away. I threw it in upside down. That wasn't very good.
Go, son. Be good. Creek comes along, little step in, out of the current. Can't see anyone's rope in there. Looks pretty good. Like, actually looks really good. I have faith in this one. Don't throw it in upside down, Matt. Not bad. Get it done, pot. Get it done. All right, last one. Uh, let's go for a burn. Probably can't push too much further, so this is him right here. Queenslander. Oh, that one's 100% catching. All right, so this is probably a really good question for you guys. Help me out a lot. How long do you wait between kind of checking them? You know, I've dropped four pots. It's maybe been half an hour. Um, I'm going to check them just because I feel like the current is maybe starting to slow down a little bit. And... I really want to get them on this rock bar. If someone's told me previously that that rock bar goes all right, I really want to get them on that rock bar for that whole tide change because it is massive tides and there's no way I'll be able to actually get the pots in there at the moment. So kind of like hour, hour and a half period, I think it's going to be super important to get them in there. So I think by the time I can get them, check them, get them in the boat, reset everything, go back around, tide slows down, could be in for a shot. So I think it's been about half an hour is that roughly how long you wait or is it like I, I obviously know that you can put them in overnight but if you're just checking them during the day is is that kind of like a pretty good time let me know probably a perfect time to check this pot because it looks like he's been sucked out of his little home and the tin actually has a live bait tank in it with a full air raider system. So these crabs are gonna live the dream. Obviously with this happening means I've got to really get in deep when I put the pot in. Um, back eddies just aren't gonna be enough. Lucky I grabbed him when I did. Come here, buddy. What's going on? Oi, there's crabs in there. Sheesh. I don't know if they're legal, but they're crabs. One looks like a female. Here comes the scariest part of my life. Stop it. Okay, I'm gonna say this guy's too small. Way too small. Mint. See ya. You're kind of getting there, you know. Oh, and of course, he hasn't got a back nip apart, so I'm just going to measure him here. Same again. Just too small. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. I don't even know if I can actually grab it. See ya, mate. Whew, okay, half an hour, not bad. Two crabs, undersized. Okay, we're definitely getting like a gaff. A gaff would be great. There's a rope. Oh, I just went straight in. Back her up, Terry. Back her up. Yay! The poor tin. That's why you got a crab out of a proper tin. All right, let's go. Pot number two. Stayed where it was supposed to stay. Oi, 
Why is I having a feed? Wait, that come on now, that's big. We're in the groves. We're in the groves. No wasps. No wasps. Oh, why have you got one nipper? You're good. Might have to put that pot back in there. He's good. Moosey. Moosey. That's pretty big. This is your new home. It's not bad. Hop in there. Good man. This is really like my style of crabbing because... I don't really have to grab them if I know they're big. Okay, Matt, you've got this. You've got this. Oh, Mozzie, believe in yourself. Come on, have faith in the, in the system. Just got one nipper to worry about. Oh, he's well and truly in there, he's massive. Why do you have one nipper? Hey? Why just one nipper? That could have been all time. Pot number three. So you'll be right. You've got that tin. Oh, I think clean. Oh, oh. Maybe. Oh. Are you a Jenny? Yeah, you're a Jenny. That's a female. And that one's definitely too small, so. And do you guys a solid straight up here. See you girls. Day number two of Matt's first crabbing mission, and obviously in the crabbing mission I'm doing it because it's been windy and rainy, but this is like... I mean, this is a bit of a joke, isn't it? What do you do? I've got a really good rain jacket on board, but like, that's just next level. This can't win. <laughs> can't win. We're committed though, the tinny's on the back. Even went to Woolies, got a hot, hot chalk. I can kind of see light behind it. We should be right, we should be right. Something I actually forgot as well. Just before we get stuck in at day number two, uh, my brother-in-law Troy actually came up, never caught a saltwater barramundi before. And so I just thought we'd go and explore a couple little coastal creeks. So jump into that clip just before we get stuck in a day two because I'm gonna to have to sit out this rain for a couple of minutes and uh, you guys can watch a bit of fishing leading into some uh, crabbing day two expedition. Yeah, you should see the fish eat it too. Um, even better, sometimes you can see the fish. Like, if you look carefully, like, there's some mullet there, but... Yeah. Oh, hear that? Yeah. That's a barra. So, so, yeah, it's a funny one, but... Oh, oh, that was a barra. He'll be back in there. Fully heard him, eh? Ate it twice. Little fella. He had to be in there. Is he there? He's right up in there? Can you see him? I did before, yeah. Oh, there's a big jack. He's right up in there. I can see a jack. Just stay a bit still for a sec. 
Hold egg. The middle there, right? Can you still see him? Up in the shadow. Oh, he's on it. Here he is. Oh. There's two of them in there. <laughs> 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 There's two of them, and there was a jack at the back. But see, I love this. Like, give me this yeah. any day. The one he like, he kind of had a go at it, and then his mate came and ate it. Hey, buddy. I don't care how small you are. That's to me, that's fishing. <laughs> Epic. Out. Yeah, and the cool thing is, like, in these areas, like, when I mean, we're fishing a coastal creek, so these little fish are so fired up. If you find one in here, it's highly likely he's going to eat it. Oh, look at the tenties on this thing, dude. They're quick, hey? You evil, evil creature. Oh, little bastard. He's still sitting there. What are the chances? There he is, he's still there. I still see his tail. Come on. Come on, sort it out. Okay, going back in. Oh, he's nailed the cast here. Still there. Oh, he was. I think I can see the tip of his tail. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. He's... Oh, that might... Oh, no, he's heading right now. If I drop it there, that should get his attention. Oh, he had it! Oh my god! <laughs> Third time. Oh, oh what? Come on, get him, Troy! Get him! Just get him! Oh. How many times can a barra eat? Got him? Oh, I dropped him. What was it? Was it? Yeah. Sick. Oh! Man! <laughs> I had a freaking... Like a bit of a bird's nest, I was pulling it out and I'm like, oh, that would have sunk a bit. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Yeah, he's a touch bigger. Definitely take him. I just love that you actually see the eat. Like, the doink's cool, but... Yeah.
That's all we can ask for. Little fella, tiny, tiny little coastal creek. We are definitely going to try and upgrade today and get some bigger fish back in the prosy. But for now on the high tide, jumping into these coastal creeks and just seeing this. Oh, Rodney, you at the back. He's good. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> but as healthy as they get, that was cool. Let's keep going. Oh, shit. Cod. Skitsy. Didn't he? Had me for a second too. You can't not catch a cod. Yeah. And honestly, like, if you want... Imagine, like, you... Just get a feed. You know, this that nothing wrong with eating them. They taste absolutely delicious. The only problem I have is just grabbing them. Oh, when there's a few fish to be had and it's jacks, it's so much fun. Jacks and barra, like just little ones, but then you do get some bigger ones in amongst them, but it's pretty rare. Oh, that's a good salty. Just put one back in there, Troy, in on, on that stick. Oh, good fish! Yes! Hold him from that stick. Oh, he's great fish! Oh, yeah. oh stop it! He's gonna go again, just... Hold him, hold him! <laughs> yes! All right, let's get him in for you. Yep. Oh, yes. He's got him. Very happy. First salty. Hey. How good. That's pretty good. Very nice. Very nice. that beer o'clock? <laughs> and then they'll use this dirty water line to their advantage as well. Yeah, a lot of them will be, they'll all be looking up though. I wasn't even looking! <laughs> God, it was a good eat. I was looking at the sounder going... He's a nice fish. No, I'll get him. There's a, I was looking at the sounder going, look at this school of barrel we're just going over. He's great. Oh, my bad. Probably should have grabbed him. Looks still good. 
Oh, well, that's nice. It's hectic because the amount of bull sharks in here as well. Really? Oh, like Bowley just gets smashed by them, hey? Really? Yeah. Where was he? He was like in there, eh? Oh, that was such a good eat! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did they just attack it like that? God, he hit it hard. God, he hit it hard. Oh, sorry, buddy. Retake of that, eh? On there. Okay, here we go. Tide is just, just, just high enough to let me into this creek. I still don't know if I can actually get to my pots. Um, I'm just going to give it a go because. Wow. I'll be very surprised if I can get in. I don't know if you remember, I'll go under it in a second. Yesterday there was a tree that I basically couldn't get under I think I might as long as there's no massive crocs in here I mean the tinny would be literally pushing no water at all but this tree here see if I can reach it I can't even reach it <clears throat> that was a tree yesterday that I had to duck under so a lot of water to come in, but we're just going to kind of creep our way up here. I've got to go right down the back to try and find these pots. So we're even going to look on the bank, see if I can see a couple just hiding in the holes because there is a lot of holes in here. Could have a first pot here. I actually, yeah, that's it. Come on, float. I'm trying to read the float. That's a good looking creek. Surely holy surely if that's my pot which i nearly positive it is that's a that's a good looking drain i dropped that one in last and just gave it a big throw and just hope for the best just about beach the 10. oh yeah that's me float that is me float oh i don't know about the reach over <coughs> Come on, baby. First pot. First pot. Here we go. You stay there. Come on, float. <clears throat> it's got me name on it. That's solid. You go in there. See, a crab. A crab. It's got a big old nipper on him. That's a body right there. That is a body. What I might do here. I'm sure you guys have done this before. Oh, he's well and truly legal if it's a male. That's a male. Nah, we'll move it. If I left it in overnight and there's only one there, I think that's that's worthy of a move. Why they got one nippers? Hey? Gotcha. Let's see if we can get out of here. All right, we're out. Next pot.
pot number two. Pot number three is up there, and I think pot four is just past it on the left. At least I'm finding my pots. That's a that's a good sign for Matt, you know. I'd take that. I'll take that. Oh, we're just getting in there. Like it or not. Come here. Give me back my float. Come on, crabs. Oh. One, but I don't know. I don't think so. Nah, he is so freaking close, but no good. Before we get stuck in here, I'm just gonna try and idle out. See you, buddy. Holy hell. What's been going on in Oh, they've eaten him. Holy. Whoo! That's psycho. Are you dead? No, he's alive. He's big, he's good. And they've Wow, that's a full massacre in there. One, two. They've eaten that guy completely. These things are savage. Wonder why I don't want to pick them up. Mental issues you guys have. Just sort that out, eh? You guys are skits. All right. Yeah, let's just go and let's touch that. That's a good idea. Get in there. Old faithful, come on. Wow, it's gonna, oh, maybe not. I was gonna grab that, but. Oh, bit of a pop off. I just wanna grab this guy. Well, obviously the, uh, I've never seen that before, but they've just smashed this crab, eaten him alive, poor fella. Probably didn't deserve that, although he was undersized. Look, I'm just putting it out there to the world. You're psycho. You've eaten the rest of your mates. I just need to test out if he's big enough, that guy there. Somehow. See you, buddy. That was easy. <clears throat> well, I don't know if I've really learnt anything from yesterday to today. I am enjoying myself. It is quite nice, just solo crabbing. It's quite stressful grabbing them. It's thirsty work too, which is fine. I'll take that any day, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm catching crabs. It's doing fine. It would actually be epic if it wasn't blowing 20 knots because I could set the pots, go out, have a fish, come back, 
and then check them and that would be the ultimate this is kind of the whole reason why i'm getting into it just uh just have that little bit more of an element to it a bit more of like an anticipation you know fishing's not that great or even better the fishing's epic and then you go and catch a crab on top of it that's like the ultimate goal that to me that's that's the challenge from now on as soon as i jump in the tinny the challenge is now set like why am i getting rained on oh, i mean it is everywhere i suppose the challenge is now set to uh catch a fish and catch a crab in the same day i reckon we can do it surely we can do it don't pull me in there all right reset them got to check them yeah oh we got a crab two nippers two Woo. stop it oh shit man the mangroves surely he's legal it's a good one i'll take that just pull up straight in the groves hey stay still he's a good crab just nervously put my hand in there i'm gonna try and do it i'm gonna try and be a man and grab the crab I should put it the head mount on because that way when he grabs me at least it's how we're looking here we should be pretty good okay at least when he grabs me it could be pretty funny oh yeah here we go here we go here we go now we're dancing Ooh. here you are flip it over Oh, Matt, you're becoming a man. I feel like this is my manlyhood really coming into its own. Don't worry about the trophy buffalo that I shot at 16 meters solo. This is the real deal. Actually think that was a pretty successful couple of days first time ever crabbing by myself still pretty funny thinking about trying to grab them i actually on the way home just got a bag of ice chucked it in that container cooled them right down and um they went kind they kind of went to sleep which made it way easier for me to handle them so what i've done i kind of skipped the process took the shells off and broke them in half cleaned them out uh, we're going to do two two different things i'm not going to go too crazy at the start because I want to leave so much option for me to cook with them later. Um, basically, if you look in here, you'll get an idea of what I've done. So you kind of like put your finger in the back, peel the shell off, break them in half. There'll just be a little bit of insides that you clean out. That's not a bad shell, hey. That's a pretty good claw. Um, and then what I've done is I've just smacked them with the back end of a knife and just kind of cracked each individual big section and giving them like a salt water bath and then we've got dill spring onion chili coriander sesame oil and we're gonna um and chili jam so please in amongst all of this um if you do have ways of cooking them or recipes or anything like that send them to me because it'd be epic to try out everyone like you everyone's got that family recipe or something cool that they do you want to hop out sis come out yeah 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 you can be on for a second big girl 
It's amazing how fast yeah. they grow. Yeah. So if you have any of those cool family recipes, please somehow send them to me because I'd love to do them. I'm going to do this a lot more because you probably can't tell, but once again, it's 20 knots, rained all day today. So it's actually a perfect day to be cooking them up. Uh, but first of all, we're going to do like, I've got a little pot here and I'm going to do the sauce and get it all up to boil and get it cooking and like get all the flavors in there. And then all the, sh all the shells that I've cracked, I'm going to put in this pot and then I'm going to pour the sauce over and kind of steam them inside the sauce. So never done that before. We're kind of just going to wing it for a little bit. And then I might leave one or two standard ones, which I'll cook back in here. Just normally like just normal boil them. So let's get started on it. What do you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. You want to grab the pot? a little bit. Even the smell of that is mm -hmm. delicious. It'll be very tasty. Okay. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Um, we've got four crabs in here and I've saved two to go back in this small one. Sauce is completely boiled cooking now. I'm just gonna pour this over the top of everything. That's going to go in there. And then... Um, so, probably one of the biggest things is obviously how long you cook them for. Uh, I did quickly call Brooksy, he said 15 minutes, like 13 to 15 minutes. So, that's what we're going to run with. Um, just going to go back and get these other two in this small one. So we've got the timer going, because that is back up now, 4.30. We have another member of the family to show as well. I a new baby. Where's Avery? Daddy! There she is! Where's Avery? There she is! Daddy! Good girl! Daddy! Oh, and Sniffy! Hey, who are you? You new? Yes. That'd be something. Big cuddle? Oh, that's a beautiful cuddle. You got her? <laughs> the big pot's been on for 15 minutes. There is quite a few crabs in there and I'd rather overcook them at the start than undercook them. Everything looks delicious in there. So, this is going to be the interesting part. So, I'm going to do it in reverse here. So, I'm going to take all the pieces out and then pour the sauce back over the top. Looks the same. Okay, so I've just done it all in reverse. <clears throat> This hasn't come out like a paste, but I've just tested it and it's, it's like, because it's a chili jam, it's hot, but it's sweet. So there's no way I'm not pouring it over the top of them. I'm getting in here while I can. Oh, this smells ridiculous. Mm. Real good. Yeah, for two of us, <clears throat> I think we've got a solid feed. Like, <laughs> I'm going into a full crab coma after this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. You want a taste? Yeah. What do you reckon? Oh. Ow. Yummy? <laughs> Parky, can you try some? She loves it. You want some, Parky? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Crack. 
More? More? Yeah, Daddy get you more. You want might need more? your own bowl, do you think? Here you go. You want some more? You want yeah. some more? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you get it, girl. Wow. How's yeah. that? Bit of chili crab? Yeah. Yum yum. No. More? Yeah, Dad's gonna get you some more, Mikey. We'll get a bowl. God, lucky I've got six. What do you reckon? Yum. Yummy? Jeez. <laughs> Look at that thing. Delicious. Well, it's definitely not the biggest nipper in the world, but for me, that is by far the biggest one I've got. And I'm going to do the solid hand, pass this over to Jess, and she can have the first taste. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed first ever Matt's crabbing expedition. There's going to be heaps more, especially with this weather. And it is just a lot of fun. So stick around, please. Get in the comments. Give me your recipes. Let me try out some cool things, because I'm going to get out there and get amongst them. One day soon, I'm even going to try and grab one out of a hole, but maybe in a bit.